It's been three weeks since starting with Ben and I'm so impressed by his performance. Again, his ranks are yet to change, but this is all part of the process. We must first learn the fundamentals from scratch, then slowly learn application through drills and then application in game. Based on replays from Ben and playing with him, I really believe his defense has gone up a good two points. However, defending has two categories, first man and second man. And in solo queue, it's all about second man. The better you are a second man, the more successful you will be. So coming soon, we will be showing Ben exactly how to rank up via the second man method but before we jump ahead, I need Ben to understand that defending has levels and there's much more advanced movements out there. So in this episode, we're going to continue on first man and we are going to cover snaking, what it is, how it works, when you can do it and why you would do it. After that, we will have Ben's biggest test to date. I am throwing him in into a high champ one game and letting him run wild as first man. The reason I'm doing this is because I aim to showcase the stuff that I've been saying for the past eight years to be completely true. Players have no vision, no fundamentals, and I believe a low diamond could basically 2v1 champs with the right guidance. Yes, I did just say that, and yes, I am that confident. However, my goal is just to get Ben to score a goal in a 2v1 versus people who are literally 450 MMR higher, two of them. That's a 900 MMR advantage. If you want to follow these coaching sessions along more in depth, including Ben's personal handouts of what he's doing to train, or you just want to help me out, please consider taking a look at the Patreon page. Let's get into it. So when you've gone in for your shadow, all right, have you ever gone in for your front end aggression and just had a player literally do this, panic hit it away to you? No, I don't think so. Oh, you haven't? Okay. All right, so... That that tells me something. In fact, actually. maybe yeah, which is I think they've yeah, I'd say yeah, and it's ended up actually with me doing the triangle defense because of the way it went. I got a side flip and ah okay, probably. that's fine then. Yeah, that's fine. Well, I was going to say if not, what that would mean is that you're not selling your front end aggression enough, and that does kind okay. of make sense based on the footage we saw where you were sort of chilling into it and then breaking, where it wants to be like ah, really aggressive turn, really aggressive turn. Yeah, perfect. One of the things we, we can do, obviously, one of the things we want is we want you to come in and do this and then they panic and do that. And then you get this free ball. So that is really a good goal. And so we need to figure out ways to do that if they don't want to throw it away early. Oh, nearly. That's it. That's it. Nice. Okay, good. good you but you see that movement I did there that made you jump? Mm -hmm. And that's what we're going to break into. That was offensive snaking. So snaking is a way that you can do multiple fakes without giving up any safety. And okay. the reason we call it snaking is essentially we're doing this. We're doing this movement here, like a snake moving in the grass, okay. all right? So the reason that's so powerful is if you get behind the ball, you'll actually see. It's probably better if you get behind the ball in the position I, I was in then. So you imagine you're pushing this ball. So if you get right, yeah, right close to it, imagine you own it, but don't touch it if you can. Yeah, perfect. So if I'm here, you can see me, right? And so mm -hmm. you think, okay, you're shadowing me. But if I do this, you don't see me. Mm -hmm. So for all you know, I could just be coming and attacking the ball. In the yep. speed of the game, that's very believable. This technique, you have to be very careful with, but you also have to understand your limits. I would not do this like a millimeter from my net, because if I mess this up, I'm as you can tell, I'm on the wrong side of the ball here. So if you shot on net, I would be pretty screwed. But what we can do is we can, as you're pushing it, and I've shown you this, and, and you're controlling the ball well, let's say you're going very slow with it, I can quickly snake here, and I'm actually going to go onto an outside shadow for a second, just so you think I'm going to challenge in that split second. Once okay. I've done that, I can go back here, which again, I could challenge you again. It looks like I could challenge you again, and I'd come here, and I'd actually go back into this inside position. So snaking okay. is a very good skill, something that Precepts taught me. It's something he's probably mastered better than anyone I've seen. It's a very good skill, and you can use it in multiple ways. It's such a great skill. So you're there. So I can come here like this, and you see me snake here, and then I do this, and then I do this. Now you can start seeing, it's very hard for yeah. you to tell when I'm actually going to challenge this. 
So you, you probably didn't yeah. see that challenge coming because there were so many fakes thrown before it. Now, one of the sayings in fighting is punches in bunches. I like fakes in bunches, okay? It doesn't rhyme, unfortunately. But what a lot of people do in Rocket League is one fake. If you do two or three fakes, that's where you can really mentally break down a player because it starts to become very unpredictable. The only reason I'm teaching this now is because you understand shadowing on the inside. If you didn't understand okay. shadowing and the importance of being on the inside, this doesn't work. So I come in... And I come like that, boom. Now I come like that. And now it's yeah. constant. You can see, like, you just don't know when I'm going to go for a triangle defensive. You know, you just don't know what I'm going to do. And one of the tips I can give you is remember on week one, I said you want to make your, your turns. You don't want to give up a lot of space when you're doing your turns. All yeah. right? It's very similar to that. And that's why we're going to power slide. Because what I don't want you to do when you're snaking is this. I don't want you to go, right, I'm going to snake. And look, I mean, you've just given up the whole length of the pitch. It's yeah. not going to make me throw it away. So you have to control your shadow and then dip in and out. When it comes to shadowing, there's a lot more than meets the eye. So you're blocking me onto the inside so I can't go. So I take control. And now if you shoot across to the outside and then shoot back. Yeah, yeah really good. And then, yep. And then now, now here, stay on the inside. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. No, no, that's really good. Okay, keyframe of that. So once you get to a situation where they, they can probably get a shot off, maybe about where I am here, this sort of line here, I would stay on the inside then. Okay. Because, uh, yeah, you don't want to fake because people can time it. So again, if I take it into the corner, but this is great because it works so well. Where you, your distance management has improved so much. So you're here, you're blocking me that way. Take control and then zip. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I genuinely couldn't tell you. Did. Yep. Okay, so brilliant. Oh, sorry. Really, 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 really good. Now, what I want you to do is make sure your, your zip on the outside is good, but I want you to emphasize your inside a bit more. So you're doing this okay. great. You're sort of going in. You're going here, and then you're going back out. Yeah. Where I, I want to see you go in, out. Like out a, the other side. Yeah, so I can see you both ways. So that's a double fake. Then. If you're here, I'm going to go this way because you've already sort of told me to. And you come in like that, and then you snake it again. Snake, snake hard, snake hard. That's it. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. And then, oh, wow. then yeah. So that's good. You only want two or three of those, to be honest. Genuinely, that one there got me. That one you did yeah. right there really, honestly, genuinely got me. <laughs> yeah. uh, remember what I want you to do, Ben. On the first, yeah, the first one forced me to the outside. And then now go, snake hard. Boom. And then pop out the inside. Pop out. The, so, and then straight to the inside. A little bit too much for that. Yeah, one. yeah, a little bit too much. Oops. And again, uh, a bit no, too that's much. Right. That's fine. The, the main thing is, ah, right, okay, what you're doing is you're just holding your power side a bit too much. Yeah. Right? So you're slipping a little bit. So you, you can do this, in all honesty, without even power sliding. You can just do it by um, letting off the accelerate trigger. Because that yeah. still gets... So if I let off and then I go this, I can still get these big movements. But what I want you to do is, just so you know, because you, you, it's hard to know unless you've done it from this perspective, you're popping mm -hmm. out, out the outside a lot more than you are the inside. So when you're okay. doing this, you probably don't need to move as far to the outside, but more, move more into the inside, okay? So uh, if you come close to your inside shadow, uh, your front end aggression, inside shadow. Perfect. Now I'm here. Now zip out the outside and then back into the inside. Keep going to the inside. There, yes. Yep. Okay, that's too much. Yep. Yeah, no, no, much, it's yeah. fine. It's fine. Actually, this is going to be the best thing. Let me show you. And then here, you see how you're sort of going to when, zip back yeah, out? Yeah, back way too soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you've gone too wide on that one. And then wide. you haven't actually shown me the inside position yet. So just so we know what that looks like from your perspective is this is already outside. I can already see you mm -hmm. here. It, what you want to think, right? If If it's all about car as yes, soon as you, you see if i can see a bit yeah. of you. as soon as you see a bit zip back across the other side to see another bit and zip it's Better all you're up. doing is looking for pieces of car basically so you've seen a bit of car and then you, now you're seeing too much car so yeah. for that i can see everything because I, the ball gives you that sort of view so you can imagine now it's basically an outside shadow if we skip mm -hmm. ahead to the next one you'll see even more now so now we know what we're looking for we already know we could be a little bit more on the inside here in all fairness mm -hmm. I think you may do your turn and challenge. Hold on. The reason I told you to do that because you were a bit too far away here as a starting position. So here we go. Yeah, so you come in. Nice. Okay. So you can see my car on the inside, which means you're forcing me to the wall, which is great. And then, so you're good. So you zip across. And now we've seen a bit of car. Zip back across, see a bit more of car. And perfect. And then there. That's too much. Yeah. All right. And that. So if you actually look, this was really good. Yep. Really good. Really good. Because you're faking me. But then that, and that's where a, a player might take a shot. 
and you oh, probably yeah. would get away with it. You got to be careful because gap. yeah, some players are really good at timing it. It's basic. You just want to get a, a glimpse of their car. You're gonna throw in that first glimpse, and I'm gonna shoot. Essentially, if if you do this well, if it's believable, the defender will panic and shoot. So if I get this ball, and you come in with your front end aggression, and then you shadow to the inside, so you inside, inside, inside a bit more. There we go. And now you're here. So you sit here, you're too far away. So yes. slow right down. Wait. Don't reverse, but... So ah, yeah, actually, let me teach you this. So if, uh, for example, you have gone too far in your shadow, you're doing yes. a lot of reversing. And what that means is I can rhythm break you and stuff like that, which we'll get into in the future. So what I want you to mm -hmm. do, if you do give up too much space, just stop, press, and accelerate. Don't have to break, okay. just stop, but press, and accelerate, and let them yeah. come to you. So here we go. So if you go okay. inside, so force me into the outside. Yeah, perfect. Now go, try it. If, see me, see me, see me on the outside. Have you seen my... There we go. Now I've just seen it. But now you're too far, far away. Yeah. yeah. So that's fine. No, no. Yeah, it's fine. So make sure... I'm I'm not looking so much for... Let me leave that ball for a second. So what you want to do, right? What you're doing at the moment is you're doing this. Yeah. And you're snaking away. What I want you to think when you're snaking is that you're snaking more side to side. You're not so much driving away a lot, but you're going side to side. Like you snake this way. So you see how I'm, I'm almost really driving back towards you. And I snake this way. And I snake this way. So it's very much side to side. I am moving forward, but it's much more side to side. And it's a, and this is why I love doing this sort of first man stuff uh, at the beginning, because you're going to learn your car handling really well. Here we go. So yeah, just wait, just wait. Don't have to reverse. Wait, 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 wait. Now, yeah, now go. So boom, and then turn, boom, and and tap the tap the uh, power side. Just tap, tap, literally a tap. Yeah, because I can yeah. tell you're pressing it. All right, so it's right, a tap. Yeah. One thing to mention here, you're probably thinking, well, hold on, like, I hold it a little bit when I'm coming into the fake. You will, because if you think about it, you're doing a 180. You're coming in here, you're pushing it down, and then you're turning. But for this, we're not doing 180s. We're literally just going side to side. So you just tap yeah. it. It's just a tap. And I don't just tap it and hold accelerate like this, because see how it's, this isn't enough. I tap accelerate. I, I let go of accelerate. So I'm here, and I tap, and I've let it go, and I've tapped. So I'm literally tapping. So I've got my accelerate, and I've got my power side here. So I'm moving away. I let go and I drift. I let go and I drift. I let go and I drift. So I'm not moving as far as way. All right. So I'm getting multiple okay. snakes. Okay. So if I just sit here with the ball and I don't move it, try and just snake back and forth and see my car from different angles. So you've seen me there. Now see me on the inside. Yeah. And now, yes. That's it. Tap. So you, haven't, so you shouldn't have seen my car. Because, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was going to say I haven't seen your car. So boom. There we go. That's fake me. That's a good one. Yes. Oh, and I didn't. Oh, I missed it. I no, what's going to so what's going to happen? This is to do with perspective. As you're moving further away from the ball, you will have to move further for me to see you. But mm. I'm going to be driving forward with the ball. So what you're doing is probably fine. But just practice that side to side movement. Tap, tap. It's a tap. Even less than that, I'd say. I'm here. You force me to the outside, but I'm not rushing. And then big, powerful. Pop out the other side. That's it. Now go into the other side. Yeah. Oh, this is good. Yes. Yes. Yeah. That's good. Yep. And I'll stay in line. Stay in line because we're right by the net. Perfect. That's why. Because they're okay. going to drive it. Yeah. Wicked. Oh, that's amazing. Do you know what? You're just... That was a bit... That a lot closer and a yeah. lot more fluent. Well, uh, there's no way a player wouldn't throw that ball away. All right. I'm just, obviously, I know what you're doing because we're drilling. So yeah. here's what I want you to do this time, Ben, is I want you to throw in a challenge. Okay. So I want okay. you to snake and, and I want you to just throw in a random challenge. You could do it after two, uh, one. And I want to see if I can tell the difference. In this, uh, here. You snake, snake, pop out the other oh, side. Wait. Let me see you pop out the other side. Um, there I'm we go. Enough. Yeah, there, there you go. go. That's it. Okay, cool. Really good. So I let's. We're getting short space. No, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so let's try. What I want you to do, just just so you can, it's more to do with like yourself when you watch this back, and for people to understand this is when you're doing this snaking right, and you're turning like this. What I want you to do for your challenge is actually do this and actually just dive on me. Okay. Face, face, actually face, because the idea is you're selling to me that you're actually going to do that. Okay, you ready? You're funneling me to the wing, so I come here, and you start snaking, start snaking. Ah, oh, way too wide. Yeah, that, yeah, you, at least you know it. Okay. Ah, okay that's all right. No that's all right. Throw in a challenge, though. Throw in a challenge on okay. one of those. And remember, it's just tap in that drift. That's it. Oh, there you go. Yeah, nice. Oh, I thought you were going to do it then. Oh, ah, you, do you know what? I thought you were going to do it on that one. That That's brilliant. No, no, that's really good. You'll, you'll see that you really sold that fake to me there. I actually thought you were going to do I it then. Just a bit too close, maybe. For yeah, yeah, you had that well. Okay, here we go. Pop out. Pop out one of the sides. Okay, nice. Yeah. Oh, this is looking great. 
Uh, okay. Okay, this is really looking good. I'm going to get another keyframe here. So all we got to do now is blend in. In fact, if you go, if you push the ball, I'll do the shadow snake in just so you can yeah. see this, all right? They're not yeah. going to be mega creative. All they'll move at your wing, but obviously we're trying to make them flip into this ball. So you're here. Did you know that was coming? Yeah, no chance. No, you didn't. You didn't know that was coming. Oh, I was expecting it to pop out the other side. Ah, perfect. <laughs> That's perfect. That's what. So you've been doing that, and I've been thinking the same. So just throw in that challenge, just just okay. so people can see what it's like, and you can see what it's like as well. And you watch this back. So here, so show me, show me where you are. So you're there. Okay, pop out, pop out, pop out, pop out. Keep popping. There you go. Oh, I thought you were gonna do it then. Go on. Oh, you got me again. Okay, nice. So just Good make bit. it one turn into it. Just, so it's like yeah. this. So what it looks like, you, you go here, you snake, you snake. And because I'm doing this turn, you just ex you just finish that turn off. Yeah. All right? Yeah. It's not a good challenge, okay? It's not a good way to play. And this is why I'm not saying that you're going to do this when we play. It's more so that you can understand their feelings behind it. So, yeah. Oh, God. Oh, that was a good one. Okay, now throw it in the challenge. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. Okay, I want to show you this. It could have been a bit more in line, but... but that's fine, well. that's fine. I, I got to show you this, so... so... Again, nice. So show them speed, 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 and then turn. That's it. That's it. Now, yeah, couple, there you go. That's perfect. You made him throw it away, and I can always come in then. And then we get the open yep. nets. That's a great block from them. But that's exactly what we're after. It's getting them to throw the ball away. Great, you got him to throw the ball away. And again, you've got him to throw the ball away. Brilliant. This is really good. Nice. You can get him to... Yeah, that's it. Make him panic. Oh, go on. Let's go. Let's go. Well played. That is wicked. Well played. Get in. That's when you know you... See, because see, you're supersonic out. there. See, yeah. But yeah. they're panicking because you're like moving into the play at lightning speed. It panics people. Well played. That's brilliant. Boost, make sure you now block this. See if you can block it. That's it. Put it into the corner. That's it. Now I get a free ball. Can I score that one at least? Yay! Out of about 20 attempts, I got one. So you're basically funneling me loads of these free balls to open nets. So I just gotta come out and just pick my shots, basically. So well played again. But the reason I keep saying to you, you know, when you're in the corner, is make sure you really try and block them. Don't let them through. Is one, off and ons are very dangerous. But two. It's like a uh, like a block tube. Okay, we'll just shoot that. Like, if you imagine there's a tube with some mud in it, right? If you just put water on it gently, nothing's going to happen. But if you force, like, a jet of water, it's going to build and build, and then it's going to go whoop, out the tube. And that's what we want here, is we want to, like, build and build and build, and then they throw that cell themselves into the corner and throw the ball into us at the net. That's exactly what we want. That's a great touch. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, nice, well played. Nice. That was sick because you had that really good goal at the start where you completely 2v1 outplayed them. And then this is good, consistent finishing at a high rank, so it's nice to get in there. One of the big things, which we'll move on to soon, is making sure we're matching the height of the ball whenever it's near a wall. Yes. And the reason is, if you think about it, okay, let's say I'm defending and I'm in net which is sort of the strategy we use. What I want is I want low balls to myself because then I can just tee them off. If you're matching the height of the ball or above it, if you lose that 50, the ball will come grounded to me, which means I've got everything. I can jab it. I can do whatever I want. Okay. If you don't lose that 50, which you probably won't if you're in this position, you can move forward and you can start your own offense. But if you're below the ball, what happens is they can come above you. And this is where we've, we're now breached. Yeah. Because this is a dangerous position for us. The reason why is we've, we're essentially going to be in a 2v1 here. Let's say the second man's here. Now, normally, if you're high, I can focus on this guy and just intercept his path. But now, because of this position being exposed, he could pass it, but he could also often on it. And so whenever we're defending near a wall or a corner, you just want to drive, literally power slide turn and get above the ball. You can always yeah. do it facing your own net there's no problem in just continually doing like snake movements around the backboard yeah. that's fine but when we look at this you'll see what happens is the ball goes up and now you can see this this thing of like is he going to pass it it's basically very difficult and he gets the yeah. dunk anyway here is a similar situation the ball is in the corner and you're turning underneath it yes down. and it's all about proactivity so what's going to happen is because you haven't matched the height of the ball there's two things that you don't have one is 50 position and two vision. So 
if you look out of ball cam, which you might be, you see the wall here, uh, pretty much. Okay, sort of the wall, especially when you're back here, you essentially see the wall. So you'll see here, you end up seeing the wall. Yeah. So what happens is they can hit that 50 and it goes above you, which is not what we want because when this happens it takes ages to go you have just done something incredible you have forced two players of the same team in communication in champ one which people say this never happens but it happens all the time to dive into the corner recklessly if we had any way of you 50 in this infield or hard to me we've got an, an open net and you can use this strategy to grand jam this is the pacifist system in a nutshell just make sure when you're in this position here and you've approached this ball a great touch You've landed here. What I would do now is I would just drive up this wall. Even if I'm facing away, I don't care. But I'm here. And if they take that 50 and it's like rolling up, what I can do is I can just drive off and I can just jump and just hit it as hard as I can. And there's a big mm -hmm. reason for this. A second man here, as soon as I see you about to hit that, like the second you hit it, I'm flipping. I'm flipping yeah. to just tap it in. And it's so powerful. But this this sort of stuff, it makes it difficult because you can see there's two attacks here. You've got, a, if he misses, I've got a ground attack to deal with. Okay. If I 50 and lose, the, the guy's going to tap it in. So you have to wait for the shot, but that could have also been a goal. It's just one of those things to think about is that we're really trying to force them nice and low into the middle. And there you have it. Again, further evidence that the game is still in its infancy in ranked due to people not understanding the fundamentals of the game because of people churning out 50 air roll tutorials or 17 flip reset tutorials or even a two hour air roll tutorial. Once people start understanding the fundamentals, the players will develop much quicker. My advice is to follow this series along and level up with these key fundamental skills early. Ben is doing a fantastic job and I am super impressed with his development. Once we begin developing the second man stuff, he will be able to go straight up, which I'm excited for, but we've still got work to do before we get there thank you for watching hope it helps look after yourself and peace out peace peace